What is going on YouTube in today's video? And as you guys can see from the title, I'll be covering this Julio Fulio death situation, or not situation, but you know, this news. And normally I don't cover news topics along these lines, but I do got some things I would love to get off my chest and say, some advice and stuff. Advice number one is stop playing with your life like this. Don't put your life in jeopardy like this. If you know you're somebody or you know that you know, maybe this might not be the best route for me. Don't, don't put your life in jeopardy like this. And this rapper right here, Julio Folio, he's been playing with death. He's been playing with his life for the, for the past few years. He's been playing with his life even after they gave him, they had him walking around like a pirate. They had him walking around like a pirate for like a year and he still put his life in jeopardy. He still put his life on the line and thought it was funny. And karma is a real thing. Karma is a real, real thing. He was... Making music videos, dancing on people's graves at grave sites, talking trash, talking crazy, saying he's gonna kill this, kill him, kill that, and he got got karma is a real thing. And y'all need to stop playing with y'all need to stop playing with y'all lives like this, cause stuff like this will happen, and it's unfortunate that it had to happen. But come on now, man, you're 26 years old, celebrating your birthday at holiday, and like, come on now, gang. So I'm gonna read the report. Um, on Hulu Fuller, his attorney, Louis Fusco, released a statement announcing the death Sunday just hours after his client passed. According to the statement, Julio, whose real name is Charles Jones, was in a town to celebrate his birthday. While he was staying at an Airbnb at first, Fusco City's law enforcement reports, which say he was kicked out of the accommodations for exceeding the maximum occupancy and checked into a Holiday Inn. Like, what are you doing checking into a Holiday Inn? Just before 5 a.m. Eastern, an incident occurred in the hotel parking lot where Julio's lawyers say that the rapper was fully ambushed and killed. They're asking for privacy for their family at this time. Tampa police said that said they believe Jones was the victim in the shooting, though they added they'd have to wait for medical examiner's office to confirm. Three other people were, were reportedly shot during the ambush and transported to the hospital. They are exceeding the they, they are expected to make a full recovery and cops are investigating the case of the shooting. We've reached law enforcement in more detail than so far at card back. And the crazy part is he put this stuff on Instagram. Like he, he was posting stuff on his Instagram about it, like where he was at or what he was doing. And I don't want to say he was set up because I don't believe this was a setup. I just believe it is a dumbass nigga doing dumb nigga shit. And he got got because he's a dummy. And I hate to talk trash about someone who's currently deceased, but it's like, you're stupid. Like, God gave you another chance the last time you got shot and you kept playing in his face and now karma got you. You're not going to heaven. I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised. So if anyone who's shocked and surprised, you were also a dumbass too. Because I hate seeing shit like this. Like, every time a rapper dies, like a, a drill rapper, the ones that talk crazy and talk about people deads and killing people and stupid shit all in their reps and they die and then people be like oh he didn't deserve it he definitely deserved it it's it was long overdue it's unfortunate that his family had to go through this but you you this nigga was a so-called demon a self-proclaimed demon a wannabe king vaughn and it's sad and it's sad that this stuff like this always occurs in my community and then you know my black culture and we worship people like this and then we get sad when they die it was deserving he deserved it and it's unfortunate that this shit had to happen but you gotta stop playing with your life you gotta stop putting your life in danger you just be regular like be normal it's you don't gotta it's just it's sad it's a sad story it's just sad not sad that he died but it's just sad that this won't be the the last drill rapper to die and we try to uh be sad i don't i don't feel sad i'm just ashamed of my community that we put people like this on a pedestal and we support them and then we get sad that they die it, it's expected he's a drill rapper this is lifestyle this is what he loves this is what he lives eats breathes and sleeps and he got god this is his lifestyle boom stop saying he's going to heaven because that's that's you see he's just not going there hopefully you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new and peace out. Stop taking life for granted.